Hi both. <laughs> How are you? Congratulations on such I'm a exciting, a really exciting project. Um, I want to start by asking both of you, um, what was it like to get that phone call saying you were part of this? Ah, yo me puse a llorar. O sea, yo me puse a llorar. I can remember I burst in tears. When I got that phone call, because I was first in the in casting, then I went for a callback. It was a Saturday, I can remember. And they said, we are going to make a decision on Monday at the latest. And they phoned me on Thursday. And so since Wednesday, I was like, well, I, am, I was sad. They didn't call me. I was finishing another project. The only thing I knew at that moment was like, damn, this is a, quite a nice project. So I think it was midday when the agency called me and they told me I was in tears immediately because this project means, means a lot for me because it's like this project is full of your dreams. Definitely, definitely. That that's what I felt. That's that's how I felt. That everything, every single bit of it. And when I finished this project, I confirmed what I felt on that day. I would wish every project would have this level of telling stories of women. Well, stories of men and women. Because when men are in the in the in the story, there's not that they are like bad or things like that. But I think definitely it's a beautiful project, I would say. Well, uh, when I was told uh, I would be here, it was like uh, being in a in a ride, yeah, like a roller coaster of emotions. I was very happy about the project. Then I didn't get a call. Then I got it. And when when I when I'm doing something I care, I always say to my mom, help me. My mom is not with us anymore. She passed away. So from heaven, she's helping me. And so the very first thing I said was, thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. You're still helping me. But I was, I, I had this emotion in my, in my chest. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, story. It's about giving a voice, not only in Mexico, but around the world to Mexican women of years from years ago, speaking about their personal experiences, their lives. And I think every woman can relate with them, at least at some point in, a, in one of the dialogues, at some point, every woman can relate with, with them. And it, the project has all of my heart, and I think everyone in the team. I think Valentina is a very uh, interesting character because she's the kind of person who will do first and then think later and i found your cat your character is the absolute opposite <laughs> how how was that kind of um how was there anything mm -hmm. in your character that you really admired and uh, things that you didn't really like about them Yo amo a Valentina. Valentina i love es valentina el sueño de mi vida. i love valentina she's <laughs> my <laughs> dream <laughs> She's my fantasy. One thing I loved, I don't want to make a spoiler of it, but what I love about Valentina is that I think she's that, that voice who tells as she feels. And this is important because uh, women were not allowed to say, I don't like it, it's not fair, I will not do this or that and I'm not going to be dressing the way you want in those in those times. But through this story, Valentina was so, so impulsive. There are things she does, and they're brutal. I was talking to Fer, and I said, no, 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 Valentina cannot do this. I was with the director because I said, so what kind of person is she? And he said, well, she is a person like everyone else. She's passionate. She's impulsive. She can make mistakes and so there is a possibility i will not spoil spoil it and say this but valentina is taking some actions like halfway through the series that are against everything i believe and when i think i as an actress think that everything she does is right 
So I had to come to terms with it and reconcile the fact that Valentina can be violent and can be like rude. She's tough and she doesn't care. And then uh, it's wonderful. It's like releasing. But all of a sudden I got this part of me saying it's too much. I don't want people to hate her. I want people to love her. But in the end of the day, the story tells really nicely who she is. And it was there when I understood the character. And I hope the audience will understand the character. Uh, Gabina. I think she understood Valentina's language. I was thinking of my siblings when I was with Valentina. Obviously, when you grow surrounded by men, it was my brothers. I was the only woman in the, in, in the family. I had three brothers and it's always like an aggressive thing, but it is just the way it is. You don't argue with that. You, say, you take it for granted and, and you think it's the normal thing. There is a very beautiful scene when Valentina is telling her like, there you see, there's your family. She's coming from a tough moment in her family when they said you can't do this and that. And, and, and Valentina says, but your family are nice people anyway. That was that was a huge discovery for me in that. When we were rolling that scene, I understood who Gabina was, but also I understood who who Gavina was to and Valentina because they they were very upfront to each other. They just clicked immediately. They had to be hand in hand to walk together. They would pull the, each, each other uh, ahead. And very important thing, they would tell the truth to each other again. And as I said before, Gabina was only discovering freedom. They were discovering responsibility of making her own decisions for life and so finding Valentina in the police corps was like a line of salvation for her as it can be for any other woman. Thank you so much both and congratulations again on this. And again, Gracias. Brilliant. Gracias. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys! <laughs> hey You Guys! <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!